Hey, what's up, guys? Let me see about another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect, uh, like, to control your phone remotely from your from your tablet or vice versa, right? So the application we're going to be using is a uh, TeamViewer, right? So you need to download two applications on the separate devices. You need to download TeamViewer Quick Support on uh, the device you want to control remotely. And you need to download uh, TeamViewer Remote Control on the device you want to use as a remote controller. Right, so when you're done downloading those two applications on the particular devices, right? You just open them up. So right, on the device you want to control, which is the phone in this case, you will go open up Quick Support. Once you open up Quick Support, you're going to be presented with your user ID right there. So once you get your ID, what you have to do is basically uh, open a control remote device uh, application that control remote by right, TeamViewer and then you will see a, a place where you have to enter the what the partner ID yeah and that's the ID you're going to enter the your user ID from the quick support application so in my case I've already entered it once so I can get it from history once I'm done entering it then I'll click on the remote control app button at the bottom right here just below the place where you've entered your ID so once you pl clicked on that, it's going to establish a connection and authenticate. Then it will ask you to what? To give you permission to connect. So once it's connected, then you can control your phone remotely. So yeah, that's basically all you need. Really fast. Maybe the only complex I have are the fact that it needs internet connection. Yeah. So you have to have a stable internet connection for it to work smoothly. But yeah, this can have very many applications. I imagine a person using it, maybe you're recording using your phone and you want to control it remotely as it's facing you. Yeah, you can use your tablet, maybe or a different device or as a preview monitor. Yeah. And uh, the good thing is you have also support to directly. And uh, you also have support to directly uh, control your, what? your phone from. From the tablet or whatever device you have connected as a controller yeah so that's basically all i wanted to show you guys and uh, by the way for samsung users you can also get the, the application to be in a proper view so that you can actually just have it floating around and maybe you you open up any other application maybe you've opened up youtube and you want to just check on your phone maybe in a minute or a second yeah you can just come there right there go to your device and yeah do whatever you want to do Right there so it's really convenient and can be really useful i imagine many people can have different uses for it yeah so basically that's what i want to show you guys and yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one and uh, yeah guys please have me subscribe <laughs> yeah